Education, I think, is the only way we can make a difference. Mm -hmm. Quite candidly, this is the future of Lebanon in the Arab mm -hmm. world. That's why we need to talk to leading uh, businessmen. It's great to see well, you. Good to see you. Keep yeah. see you. Good good to see you. Well, Fadlo and I were talking about the fact that the 21st century belongs to the innovators, those who can think outside the box, provided that they have the opportunity, really, to get trained into thinking. Nowadays, with everything that's changing, even our business, if we do not adopt on a daily basis, mm -hmm. we have a serious problem in implementing strategies. It's all the more reason why you need people who are grounded in the humanities, yeah. right? Who know the classics, who know literature, exactly. who know social sciences, mm -hmm. and you overlay that with science and, and other skill sets. Mm -hmm. Our question is, how do we get these kids to learn earlier in partnership with the private sector? We used to come to the private sector and said, and say, give us scholarships, you know, give us jobs. But now, we also want you to help give us experience and education for our kids, right, Absolutely. Absolutely. The idea, how can we prepare these young people before they graduate to have the right understanding of the world? When I came back from uh, the Gulf in uh, 1990, the interesting thing that I've noticed then is that our public schools didn't have a computer literacy program. Mm -hmm. That's how we started with the foundation. If we do not prepare our generations for the next millennia, which we are in today, mm -hmm. then basically as if we are illiterate. Mm -hmm. Education for me is the key element when it comes to building a country. Lebanon, we don't have resources. The only resource was we have is the location, geography, and the Lebanese people. Yeah. And this is where we need to capitalize on it. Yeah. The whole curriculum that we have in this government needs to be changed because he's still thinking 20th century that I need to have doctors, I need to have lawyers, I need mm -hmm. to have engineers. That's fine. Tradition but now, now the problem is that the type of engineering that we need is different than what we're teaching in school. Mm -hmm. The type of digital mentality that we have is different than school. We know we have a problem with the brain drain. Absolutely. How can we, universities and the private sector, stop this? You have to engage more the businessmen. There we have in Lebanon about 50 or 100 very internationally recognized businessmen that we right. succeeded everywhere in the right. world. Let them explain to your youth exactly what is our success story. We talk about we. Okay. This is what we need to be working together, Marco. This is where we can make the change. اللبنانيه بدعوا بس لازم كمان يكون في سبب يرجعوا او يستثمروا بهالبلد او يضلوا هيدا الجيل حرام نخسره انتم اليوم عم تعلموهم سكيلز عم تعلموهم العلم عم تعطوهم البيسكس السيفل سوسايتي بارت يلي انتم اليوم بموضوع الانترنشيب عم تجبروهم انه يشتغلوا خلينا نشتغل مع البزنس كوميونتي نحن عندنا مصلحه نلاقي مستقبل، بدنا نعطيهم هالخبره انه فينا ننجح ببلادنا ما ضروري بس نرجع لبرا بده يشوفوا انه في بلان عندنا تنأمل لهم شغل لبعدين، في بلان انه يقدر يسكن، في بلان انه يقدر يتجوز. فهيدي شغله مهمه كثير فضله وانا وياك وفؤاد لازم نوسع البكار مثل ما بيقولوا. ابسولوتلي. اتس ا ديفلوبينج وورد بس نحن بعتد فينا نعطي للبناني الكرايتيريا يلي اليوم مطلوبه بالعالم، ان كان كوميونيكيشن ولا كان ديجيتال وورد، يلي نحن بعدنا متاخرين فيه، بس انتم بعتد عندكم المؤسسات وعندكم الكواليفيكيشنز تو ديفلوب خلينا نشتغل فيها. وعندنا العزم كمان، عندنا العزم، لازم تصير. اخرتها لبنان حرزان، يعني اذا بتطلع علينا كلياتنا، لبنان حرزان، فينا نعمل شيء لهالبلد.